All right, guys, so this is your example of paragraph four, where you have the counterclaim and then the rebuttal. There are a couple things in this example that I don't want to see in your essay, but I'll acknowledge them as we go ahead and read through. You should have the paper um, uh, in front of you right now. I do want you to go through and be writing on your paper when I tell you which piece is which. So that way you're not coming back and rewatching this video 85 times and it's easily available to you. Okay, so <clears throat> this paragraph itself is 198 words, nine sentences, so a little bit longer than what yours needs to be. Some say that students should be allowed to have their cell phones for emergency purposes. Right there, circle the words some say. You are acknowledging the counterclaim, but you're also uh, saying only a few people agree with that. So they're using that transition words some say, and they're saying that not a lot of people agree with the stance, okay? And then it goes on. Peter Brosnan, author of Smartphones, Smart Kids, says, Many parents and students rely on cell phones to keep in touch in case plans change after school. That is a fact for your counterclaim. You do not have to have that piece in your essay. You do not have to have anything that supports what the other guy says. However, however if you do, it's not going to count against you at all. Okay. Next line. It is true that cell phones are useful for staying in touch, but... Students can communicate with their parents in many other non-disruptive ways. Circle the word but right there. But students can communicate. So what I'm doing right there is I am acknowledging what the other side says by saying it is true that cell phones are useful for staying in touch. I'm not going to argue that point. The transition to the rebuttal starts with the word but. Students can communicate with their parents in many other non-disruptive ways. That is my rebuttal. That is the argument that I am willing to take on right here, right now. And then I roll into um, an internal citation. Okay, so starting right here. Today's schools are equipped with computers and internet access, so a student can send an email or a text message through many different websites, including the cell phone provider's website. This is a parenthetical citation. So that tells me if I go to my works cited page and I look at the author's name, A-U-N-E, on one, I can find this quote. I have paraphrased this quote. It's not a direct citation because I don't have quotation marks around it. So again, your essay is going, counterclaim, re rebuttal, evidence to support your rebuttal. That's what that looks like. From here, we have um, logical thinking. If internet access is a problem, every school is equipped with a phone and will allow students to call on emergencies. Duh, we do the same thing here. That's something that everybody knows. Some schools even send out alerts automatically to parents. Again, logical thinking. Duh, that's something that everyone is aware of. You need to have that in your counterclaim and rebuttal paragraph. The next line is a direct citation. You have quotes around it. It starts with if and it ends with students. If our game is canceled due to weather or anything else changes in our schedule, our administration sends a notice to all parents immediately. Oftentimes they find out before the students, Erie Athletic Director Brian Howell says. So we know that he is a reliable source because he is an athletic director, okay, at the school at the Erie School. <clears throat> My next line is what I like to call it a burn, all right? And you end with a statement that proves my logic over the counterclaim, okay? Parents and students have survived without being able to communicate through cell phones for over 100 years, and they will continue to survive without the use of them at school. No one can argue with that. You can't come in and say, people didn't survive without cell phones for hundreds of years. That person doesn't make any sense, okay? So whenever you end with a line like that, you automatically win your entire argument, and that's what you need. You need that burn at the end of your fourth paragraph that nobody can argue with, okay? Like I said, go back through. Make sure that you label these different parts. Counterclaim, rebuttal, evidence for your rebuttal, logical thinking, and then a burn at the end of it.